Good morning, traders. With a volatile week behind us in equities, FX, and commodities, um, traders were taking stock of the continuation of the banking crisis, coupled with multiple central bank meetings last week. Uh, this, lot, this upcoming week looks positively quiet in comparison, though there is growing rumours of banking giant Deutsche Bank wobbling. Uh, its share price is down over 24% in the last three weeks, and its CDS, or its cost to ensure its um, credit spreads, has, has risen dramatically. The key inflation, there is key inflation figures too out of the US the EU and Australia, so nothing can be taken for granted. Last week we saw the Fed, SMB and the BOE all hike rates as expected. The Fed and Bank of England was 25 basis points, the Swiss National Bank 50. There were indications, however, that uh, the end could be near, especially from the Fed in their accompanying statement. Uh, the week ahead, Wednesday, we have Aussie CPI. Now this is a pivotal reading with the market now pricing in a pause from the RBA at their next meeting. Uh, so a weak reading will support the RBA and those hints that they made in their statement from the last month that they are close to the top. Uh, an upward surprise could see a, a, a dramatic repricing of these odds and a big move in the Aussie dollar initially at least. Thursday, out of the EU, we have German CPI, where the reading is expected to moderate from uh, last month's big beat. Again, this, the ECB is talking tough still on their rate hiking cycles, so uh, we should see some volatility in the, EU, in the euro, depending on how far outside expectations this reading comes. Uh, Friday, the Fed's favourite CPI figure, the core PCE, will be released. Now, Fed fund futures are currently pricing in a 88% chance of a hold at the next meeting of the FOMC. Uh, hot reading here would put pressure on the Fed and, and could see a big adjustment of those odds, sending the US dollar higher initially uh, and, and put some real pressure on bond prices.